welcome back to the Horsepower Enthusiast YouTube channel. Finally, the time has come. We're back up here at Power Cruise. Got my car together. We got the new engine in it. Doing a little flashing right now. Got Chuck. Egg. Chuck came up this year. He actually built the car. We're gonna do some tuning today. This is day number one. The first cruising session is gonna start in about 15 minutes. We're gonna take it out. It's only on wastegate pressure right now. So we're gonna see how it goes. Have some fun. Maybe we'll turn it up. All right, we got the car working. Got the laptop set up. We're gonna go out and do some logging. I just did one pull, didn't record just because I wanted to see how it was gonna go. But we turned it up, it was at 19 pounds. I just turned it up a little bit. So we're gonna see what that does. Hopefully it does like 22, 23.
fun day two of power cruise. It's just extremely hot out. We're not taking it too seriously. We're just going out and just on the cruising sessions. I haven't done any of the roll racing of the day because it's just super hot out and feeling the car out since it's got a new engine in it. We're just gonna keep doing that and having some fun. See if we can get any races in. So we are currently on the toe of shame. I don't know what happened. We we're hauling ass down the straightaway and all of a sudden it just starts shaking like crazy. It feels like a wheel's gonna fall off or something. I don't know, I'm sure something broke. Maybe a motor mount broke or something, I don't know. So we're just gonna try and make it back to camp for now and see what happened. Hopefully it's not too bad, you know? Kinda glad it didn't happen. It happened when we were hauling ass, so I'm glad we got it slowed back down and it was safe. So up everyone welcome back to the horsepower enthusiast youtube channel as you can tell got the car on the trailer we are going to proving grounds up in brainerd minnesota kind of a last minute decision but me and my buddy ben wanted to go up there figure why not take the car i've been up since about four in the morning packing getting ready it's about six right now we're about to i'm i'm about to go pick up ben and we're gonna go head up there really got a this year I'm really hoping for a way faster pass since we got a new tune up and we got the launch control set up. So hopefully knock a few seconds off the best pass. So wish us luck. You'll see us up there. What's up everyone? We made it to Brainerd. Car is unloaded, got teched in. We're gonna go head up and get in lines now and hopefully make a pass. Hopefully it goes good. But uh, check back in with you when we get up there in line. So early. We're in the staging lanes. I'm super nervous, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So we'll see what happens. I uh, forgot to turn on the camera for that one. Pretty sure I roasted an axle. Yeah, I think I think something's broken. I can feel it. All right, current situation. The axle definitely broke immediately. Right up in there, you can see how she's all twisted, and not happy. Got one spare to go break right after this. And uh, <laughs> If that one snaps, I guess we're gonna be ordering some drive shaft shop axes when we get back. So I'm gonna get this all swapped over. Ben's holding down the fort. And then we're gonna go back out and try and break it again. Back in action. One axle swap done. Ready to go break it again. Here we go guys, try this out again. Look at that! Spinning like crazy, 
so we had a 2.4 second 60 foot again which if i had slicks and better axles that wouldn't happen but we did a, a 13.5 at 120 miles an hour what's up everyone we are back here in the garage after brainerd pretty good weekend i'd say it was a lot of fun well it was one day we went up there for saturday but we did two passes first one the jetta just immediately broke an axle right off the launch on the second pass we ran a 13.5 at 120 miles an hour which trap speed i'm happy with the 13.5 not so much which is it is my fastest pass i've done in this car so far but we just need to do something with the wheels and tires setup i'm thinking about getting like a 15 by 8 and then just a slick in the front and we need to get better axles then we can really really improve our time i think we get into the high 11s pretty easily with the setup it is now if i get axles and slicks because when the 13.5 the 60 foot was still like 2.6 almost 2.7 seconds i'm not 100 percent sure but other than that it ran really good the launch control worked amazing and uh it's still here and it's still running so it's a good weekend but anyways if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already but anyways catch you next time